A delicate, dangerous operation begins at reactor number four of the Fukushima nuclear plant. This remote-controlled crane is tasked with removing some of the 400 tonnes of spent nuclear fuel from the crippled complex. The unprecedented process is fraught with risk. The fuel rods are brittle. If they break or become exposed to air, huge amounts of highly radioactive gas could escape into the atmosphere. We hope that this process will be conducted in a manner that will not disturb local residents and that the removal will be done on schedule, properly and safely. There are about 50 to 70 fuel rods stored inside an assembly. It will take roughly a week to move 22 assemblies to a more stable pool that will keep the fuel cool. With more than 1,500 fuel assemblies requiring removal, this is a year-long operation. I would assume that the electric company, they have serious evacuation plans, but they're not made public, so as not to raise the, the fear. But they must have very serious evacuation plans in case the worst happens in that, in that swimming pool. Uh, but the workers, one must give them high respect that they're going there and they know how dangerous that is. The earthquake and tsunami of March 2011 badly damaged all four reactors at Fukushima, but Unit 4 avoided a meltdown. The Tokyo Electric Power Company TEPCO says the current experience will help it deal with the other three reactors, where radiation levels are much higher because of core meltdowns. TEPCO has continued to face criticism for its handling of the nuclear crisis, and public trust is low that it will safely decommission the stricken plant, a process that could last decades. Joanna Blundell, Al Jazeera.